Right. Hi, this is Shasta Gunner. Uh, back here again today. As you can see on my bench, I have two single action 22 revolvers, um, as well as a holster. Uh, this is a new holster uh, that I picked up. Um, it is by um, package here, VersaCarry. Uh, I don't have a ton of experience with VersaCarry, uh, but from what I could gather, they're fairly decent, uh, serviceable holsters, um, made out of leather. It's a softer leather, but uh, definitely decent quality. Um, it says here on the package for the single six style 22 cal or similar. Uh, so also states Fitz Ruger, Uberti, and Heritage. So that includes the Rough Rider. Um, not sure if Uberti's uh, single or 22 single action model, but um, it says Ruger. Doesn't define if it's just the single six or you know like a Bearcat or something like that. But I do have a Wrangler. Uh, that I will show that it does in fact work with it. Um, but yeah, so I paid $39.99 for this. Um, I think you can get a little cheaper on, on different places online. I think I've seen it for like $34. Uh, just kind of depends on, you know, where you like shopping online. Well, one thing to also note is the SKU is REV26U. Um, so size, single action, 6.5 inch. Uh, so obviously my Wrangler is a little shorter, so we'll see how that works in the video as well. Um, but a little bit about the holster first here. Uh, it is a decent looking holster, I'll give it that. Although it doesn't kind of contain um, real, you know, old timey look. I mean, the leather is a nice brown color, but it does have a black, um, top patch here leather uh, with some vent holes that probably wouldn't be you know used in an old west style situation so if you're going for real authenticity uh, this probably won't be your ticket uh, but for a general purpose outdoors um, woods type uh, 22 holster uh, if you're going to take this you know gun like this out hunting squirrels or something like that I think you'd be very well served um, it does have double stitching on the belt loop here uh, and the belt loop is all leather as well. So it's very strong, uh, shouldn't break. Um, and it has a single stitch along the outside here. Uh, another important note here is it says um, here, uh, versacarry.com, USA made. So if that's important to you, uh, buying a USA made product is definitely a, a big selling point, I think for a lot of people and a lot of people would agree. Um, so it's good to support, you know, uh, USA made products so <laughs> um, okay all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, Rough Rider Heritage Arms Rough Rider Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider go ahead and pop this in the holster so if you have a gun like this uh, you can kind of look and see how the fitment would be uh, obviously the trigger guard is covered up very well uh, hammer is kind of concealed ducked down um, Barrel just gets to the end of there, uh, so perfect length. Uh, and as far as retention, uh, it holds it very well. Um, I mean, obviously it's supposed to come out, but it holds it decent. Uh, go ahead and grab the Wrangler here. Uh, this is a four and some change inch barrel. Uh, we'll see how that works in here. All right, so for whatever reason, the Ruger Wrangler fits just a little tighter, um, but that can be a good thing. <laughs> it works no problem, though. Again, trigger guard's covered, hammer's covered. Um, the barrel only goes to, you can kind of see right here, um, a little bit of extra flop, but it does work. Uh, you just got a little extra bulk that you probably don't need, but if you only wanted one holster and you had multiple types like I do, um, it'll work just fine. Again, retention's great, great, especially on the Wrangler. It's a little tighter. It'll probably wear itself in. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera around, put this on my hip and kind of show uh, how it fits. So I will be right back. All right, as you can see, I have it through my belt on my hip. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider, go ahead and pop her in the holster. Okay. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that is how it looks on the side. Um, overall, it fits pretty nice. 
Uh, it's decently light. I mean, these guns aren't super heavy. They're not, you know, made out of dense stainless steel all the way through. Um, but it fits very comfortable. Uh, stays tight to your body. Uh, not a lot of, I mean, you can obviously flex it with the belt. Uh, I could tighten my belt up a little bit more if I really needed to, but for the purposes of this video, uh, it does stay tight to your body. Not real floppy. Um, definitely would work great, obviously, for a woods type gun holster. Um, I think you'd be well suited. I'll go ahead and pop the Kruger Wrangler in there. Not being a little tighter. Uh, but yeah. Uh, go ahead and it, it fits in there just the same way. Um, obviously it feels a little lighter because it doesn't have quite the barrel length. But uh, yeah, one thing I know, it does fit the Ruger Wranglers a little snug. Um, but they do work. So I'm going to go ahead and flip back and have some closing statements here and uh, carry on. Alrighty. So yeah, back on the bench here. Um, I think you'd be very well suited. Um, if you are a collector of 22 single actions, uh, this is probably a decent holster to look at. Uh, is it authentic? Uh, you know, Old West style? Absolutely not. Uh, but oftentimes, you know, these cheaper ones, they're not really authentic either. Obviously, Rough Rider has a, you know, safety here. Um, the Ruger has quite a bit different finishes as well. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't have Cerakote back in the Old West days. But, uh, for the purpose of this holster, I think it'd be very well suited uh, for, like what I said, uh, you know, using it in a woods carry situation if you're going to go hunt squirrel, um, keep it on you if you're just outside, plink off at some, some pests and stuff like woodchucks and, uh, you know, just general small game type of things, situations. Um, I think it'd be very well suited to use it. Uh, like I said, decent quality. Uh, it's not probably the cheapest holster you could find, uh, you know, for this purpose, but, uh, definitely, you know, decent quality and the price is fair for me to say the least, uh, for a nice leather holster like this. So, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching and, uh, catch you soon.